Hello everyone, Buki Ademola here with you. Thanks for your time. Today's focus of discussion is on wound care role play guide. Wound care role play guide. But before I go ahead, I just have some few tips for you. It is believed that success evolves through a process. And part of the process could be that you practice to be better at what you do. So for your orator speaking, it is advisable that you practice over and over again. As you practice, you develop your self-confidence and this gives you access to your set target or goal. Second point, a unique thing about orator speaking is that after your warm-up session, the ball is in your court, you as a test taker, you are responsible to set the ball rolling. The interviewer will not start the speaking tests on your behalf. You have to initiate the speaking. Always bear this in mind. And lastly, familiarize yourself with the assessment criteria. Once you know what is expected of you, this will go a long way to help you to achieve the A or B needed in your speaking. Now, let's move to the wound care role play guide. My setting is accident and emergency setting. An 18 year old female has presented to the emergency department with a wound cut on her right leg. She's in severe pain. She's afraid of needle stitch. My task, I need to find out how she sustained the wound. I need to reassure her that her pain will be taken care of. I need to explain the wound care process. And to convince her on the need to have an x-ray and lastly, I need to advise her on the need for T toxoid, tetanus toxoid. Now, let's move to the introduction. The introduction is not one method fits for all. Your setting defines how you go about your introduction. I have an emergency setting. So this could mean I am meeting this patient for the first time. So my introduction could be in this way. Hello, I'm Buki, one of the attending nurse in the emergency department. May I know what the problem is? Of course, there will be a response. Oh, I have a cut on my leg. I'm bleeding. I have a serious pain. Oh, the next response. I have to be empathetic with my patient. Sorry to hear that. Can I confirm your detail, please? Of course, oh, my name is Joy. Okay, is it okay to call you Miss or Mrs. Joy? Why do I need to confirm this? I need to address my patient in a respectable manner. You know, this makes my patient to be receptive and gives me a good platform to relate with my patient. Now, my introduction is wrapped up in three main things. I need to introduce myself. I need to confirm the identity or details of my patient. And lastly, I need to explain my purpose. Now, those three things summarize my introduction. So now to the main task. I need to find out how she sustained the wound. So I will take it this way. Oh, Miss Joy, can you please tell me more about how you sustained this wound? And the rest of could be like, oh, you know, I went for a friend's birthday party. I was holding a glass. I wasn't careful enough and it fell on my leg. Gosh, 
and I was bleeding and I have to rush down here. Please do something. I'm in severe pain. I have to be empathetic with my patient. Oh, sorry to hear that. We will do something. Please bear with me. We are going to do something to address your pain. I need to score the pain. Oh, Miss Joy, please, I need to find out how serious your pain is. On a scale of zero to 10, zero means no pain at all, and 10 means the worst or severe pain you've ever experienced. How could you rate your pain? And the response could be like, oh, I'm in serious pain, nurse. I would say, nah, the pain is so much unbearable for me. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And my response is to address the pain. I will get to your doctor. I'll let him know you are in severe pain. And I'll be right back to order and give you a painkiller ordered by your doctor. No, it's just, it's about being proactive and versatile a patient with a score pain of nine i can't continue with other things i have to address that okay miss joy uh, i've spoken with your doctor he has heard that a painkiller i'm going to administer the painkiller right now is that okay with you oh that's fine that's fine i hope i'll get some relief i want to assure you you'll be relieved of the pain Oh, now I'm sure you are comfortable. I'm going to move to the next process. I will explain your wound care plan. Is that okay with you? Yeah, 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 it's okay. I'm going to cover your wound before your doctor will insert a stitch in your wound. Your doctor have ordered an x-ray to be done. After that, you will come back. Your wound will be clean. A stitch will be inserted. And I assure you, it will be an absorbable stitch and you'll be given an analgesic which will not make you to feel the pain when your doctor is stitching your wound. Is that okay with you? Now the response I could get from my patient. Oh nurse, I don't want to ask. I don't want an x-ray. Oh, I've had so many things about being exposed to radiation. I'm so scared of radiation. Please, I don't want an x-ray. I have to convince her. Oh, Miss Joy, I could bear with your concern. I understand your fears about radiation, but I want to reassure you, you'll be given a shield to protect you. So the exposure to the radiation will be so minimal that it won't cause you harm in your body or in your cells. Is that okay with you? Ability to convince my patients, reassurance, giving empathy. Oh, it's okay, nurse. Then I, I, I will go. I, I will go for the X-ray. That's fine. And one more thing, I want you to understand. Now I'm the one responding to my patient. I want you to understand that the X-ray will help to find out if there is any broken glasses hidden under your skin. We don't want this to happen. That is why you need to have an X-ray done. Is that fine with you? And to be home, that's fine. Okay, now you have to make sure you keep your wound clean and dry at home to make it heal faster. After five days, you will come back for your doctor to check and be sure everything is fine. But every alternate days, you need to dress the wound. I will explain to you how you can do that at home. You wash your hands, put clean dressing, and make sure your wound is clean but if you need any help you can come to the hospital for the dressing is that fine with you oh that's fine that's fine and lastly your doctor have requested that you have a tetanus toxoid the reason why you need to have a tetanus toxoid is that we don't want your wound to be infected with a bacteria called tetanus so the tetanus toxoid, before I administer the tetanus toxoid, I'm going to give a test dose because some people do have allergic reaction to tetanus toxoid. And please, may I find, find out from you, do you have any history of any allergy? Mm, 
the response could be like, no, 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 I don't have any allergy. I don't have any allergy to any drug I'm aware of. Okay, that's fine. But even at that, we give a test dose before giving the tetanus oxide. Are you okay with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. That's the last process. And you will come back as I've spoken with you to see your doctor. Do you have any more question? Any more thing I can help you with? And the response could be from my patient. Oh, thank you so much, nurse. I'm fine. In conclusion, to wrap it up. Oh, nurse Joy. Oh, Miss Joy. If you don't mind, to be sure we are on the same level. Can you take me through what I've explained to you? Oh, yes, nurse. You, you've taken care of my pain. I'm, I'm quite relieved now. Thank you for that. You said my wound will be cleaned. A stitch will be applied. And I will need to go for an x-ray. But I will need to go for an x-ray. After the x-ray, the stitch will be done. I would need to take a dead not oxide. I have to keep my wound clean at home. And lastly, I will be back to see my doctor in five days to see if my wound is fine. Oh, that's great. Wonderful, Miss Joy. Thank you for your time. So see you in the next appointment. And if you have any problem, any question, please feel free to call the hospital line. Bye for now. So if you find this useful, click like, subscribe, and comments are welcome. Thank you. Bye.